want to be happy, we choose to be happy, we make a decision, okay, let's do this, let's be happy. But it's hard to be happy sometimes. Have you ever noticed you have well intentions to go into work, you have a great day, you wake up on the right side of the bed, you, have, you hit all the green lights on your way into work, get into work, things are going great, and you walk into that first meeting and your happiness gets hijacked. You walk into a room of people who are either like this, kind of down, not paying attention to each other, not saying good morning to each other, or you walk into a room of people who are bickering with each other. So what starts as a well-intentioned, great day for all of us can suddenly get hijacked by other people's emotions. Why is that? What's at the root of that? It turns out that our emotions, to a large degree, are impacted by everybody around us. I think Daniel Goleman says this just perfectly. I love this quote. Like secondhand smoke, the leakage of emotions can make a bystander an innocent casualty of someone else's toxic state. And it turns out that researchers have found that what's really driving happiness, which ultimately leads to engagement, which ultimately leads to people flourishing in their environment, comes down to four things on a psychological level. First, hope. Hope that the future will be better than today. That the goals I have ahead of me, that there's actually a realistic path to, to get there, that I see a way and a pathway to get there. Optimism is about having realistic goals, one component of it. It's about having a positive outlook and an optimism about the reality of what's in front of me. Resiliency, as we know, and we've talked a lot about resiliency in many of these sessions, resiliency is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges and adversity. When we have resiliency, when we work in a work environment that promotes resiliency, that drives and generates even more happiness. And finally, self-efficacy, big word, but what does that mean? Ultimately, self-efficacy is essentially the confidence that we have in our abilities, the confidence that the work that we are doing actually is making a positive impact and that we are confident in our ability to make that positive impact. It's a true thing. Our emotions rub off on each other. Our attitudes, our behaviors, our beliefs, all of this rubs off on each other. If you take nothing else away from today than that, the fact that what we bring to work, our personality, our attitudes, beliefs, attitudes, actions, all of that impacts other people, you will make a difference for yourself just becoming a little bit more aware of it.